Now at five, a follow up to a story we first told you about back in February. Signs of change. RIDOT using catchy sayings on highway message boards in an effort to save lives. So now six months later, we wanted to check back to see if it's working. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian is live in studio now with that story. Kim. Well, Stephen Caroline, the director of the Rhode Island DOT, says they're still monitoring the impacts of these signs, but so far they seem to be working exactly the way they expected. From a DOT computer screen to these highway message boards, the messages you see on your commute are the brainchild of PR professionals, DOT employees, even drivers like you, broadcasting messages like drive sober and live to grill another day to this one that stirred controversy last winter. The process had its desired effect, or is having its desired effect. DOT Director Peter Alvidi says the signs are starting conversations, and that's the point. In the past, the kind of emphasis has been on engineering solutions, making the roads safer for impaired drivers to drive on. We've turned now and, and we're focusing more at the cultural aspects of the problem. Sometimes the signs use humor, other times shock value. And despite putting non-traffic related messages in front of highway drivers, Alvidi says the signs are not distracting. Well, the signs are designed to uh, serve the purpose for being able to get a message to people that are driving in a safe manner. He thinks the signs are not only eye-catching, but thought-provoking, generating a buzz. Some of it controversial, some of it positive, some of it negative, uh, but much of it impactful. And the number of fatal crashes in Rhode Island this year at this time is actually higher than it was last year at this time, according to the Rhode Island DOT, but it's still unclear how many of those are drunk driving fatalities. Live in studio, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.